Hello everyone, welcome to AITechone.com. My name is Sumit and this is my another video in Salesforce WCRM. In this video, I'm going to demonstrate you how to configure result binding in WCRM or in Einstein Analytics WCRM. So in one of my previous video, I've explained that how can we configure selection binding on a dashboard. So in this video, we'll be going to have a look how to configure result binding or how to set up a result binding. So for demonstration purpose, I have created one sample dashboard for you. So we'll be going to replicate the same kind of requirement. So this will be the use case. And my use case is, uh, I want a sales data set and I just want to visualize the sales data set through a dashboard. And as you can see, I have filtered out, I have created a toggle control here with four values, top two, top four, top five, and top eight. And when I select top eight, so as you can see, this the, the chart widget gets filtered out and this chart widget will refresh and it start displaying top eight product subcategories. So in this case, this toggle and this chart, they are connected through result binding. But at the other hand, if you can see, there's a number widget and this number widget is displaying the total sale of these available top eight product subcategories. So if I just uh, if I just filter or if I just made a selection in another widget, if, if, if I select another value, for example, if I select top two, so as you can see, this widget started showing two product subcategories. These are the top two product subcategories, office machine and table, and their total sale is 3.3 million. So as you can see, I'm getting here, that's the total sale of these two product subcategories. In similar manner, if I just, change the selection so this number widget also change so basically this number widget is connected with this chart and it is dependent on this chart as a result binding so let's have a look how to complete this how to design this dashboard quickly and in order to do this what i will be going to do is very quickly let me start a new dashboard and I and i select blank dashboard, I'm going to create three widgets, one chart widget, one toggle widget, and one number widget. One number widget. Now in this toggle widget, as you can see in this toggle widget, I just want to display the static values, top two, top four, top five, top eight. So I just create a custom query. And here I just display the values, top two, top four, top six, you can change the values as per your requirement, top eight. And here I just add a text and I just call this as value. And this should be so two, four, six, eight. And click on done. So my toggle is ready with the values. Now in this widget, in this chart, I just click on chart and I'm just going to explore my sales data set. And I just want to display product subcategory. So I just display sum of sales and group by product subcategory. So I just say group by product subcategory. And I just sort this in descending order. And I'll just do some formatting quickly on this. I'm not interested in legend. So we got the values and click on. And I'm not interested in the header also because I know that that the show title, I just remove the title for X axis and for Y axis both. And click on done. So we got the widget and I just select this widget and I just made an initial selection as single selection required. And I, I set the default value as, I just set the default value as two. So that's the first initial value. Now in this widget, that's a number widget. Let me just format this widget. And I, here I just wanted to display uh, in this number, we just want to display the
So I'm just going to display here some of total sales, which will be going to customize later on. We'll be going to map it with the result binding. We'll be going to filter it, filter based on the result binding. So that's the second thing. But now I just shorten the number and I'm going to just customize the style. I just said in center number size, uh, let me increase the number size and let me make it more bigger so that we can see more clear. Widget style, I set the background color as this, border as, I want a border at bottom and border width is four and the text color and the text color, so it's here somewhere here. So number color I set as white and the tile color I also set as white. And uh, so these are some basic customization and I just say total sales. start binding. So I'll just write here, I just call this as sample result binding dashboard. And I'm just going to save this in my custom app. Now we'll start binding to this. So first of all, I'm going to bind. Uh, first of all, I'm going to bind this chart with this toggle as a result binding. So first of all, in this uh, in between these two widgets, the result binding will be there. And between these two widgets, I'm going to set up, sorry, in these two widgets, there would be a selection binding and widget, chart widget and this number widget, there would be a result binding. So here I'm going to configure result binding and here I'm going to configure selection binding. Selection binding. So let's see how to do that. And in order to do this, I'll just, get to JSON for binding. And we'll just look at the steps because as all of you know that the bindings or the customer, the bindings we always configure on the steps, not in the, not on the widgets. Now here I'm going to do one trick. And the trick is I just double click on the query and just convert this into a simple query. I just want a SQL query in JSON. So I just click on run query and update. So actually this is, this won't, uh, there would be no change in the result in the output, but when we customize the JSON there, uh, it would be easy for us to perform a filter to apply a filter. For example, as you can see now, because I have customized this, because I have made the changes. So now we got the query here and now it's easy for us to add a filter. So that's a static one. And this is our product subcategory. So first of all, let's uh, just let's apply a result binding on this chart. So here it's a query and I just write query load sales data set group by product subcategory. And I can add a limit. So here, first of all, what we need to do is basically we need to limit, uh, we need to add a limit between, we need to filter this widget based on the values we selected here. So basically we need to limit this chart based on the number of value, the based on the input. So if I, if I, if we have selected two here, so this need to be limit as two records. If I select top six, so this will be limit to six. So we need to change the limit here. So therefore, uh, after we order by this slash N and here I'm going to write a limit. So I just write Q is equal to, let me make a, let me make the screen a little bigger so that you guys can easily see that. And uh, yeah, the query will be, Q is equal to uh, Q is equal to limit Q and double quotes and the value will be uh, the statement columns dot as object as object and here we need to write so we want it to be filtered based on static value so I just pass on here static underscore one dot selection comma, double quotes, bracket, and here I just pass value. So I did that and let's go and check it. So as you can see, if I just preview this right now, so it's limited only to two records. And if I just filter it out, you can see top two, top four, top six, and top eight. So our selection binding is working perfectly fine. Now we need to configure result binding. And in order to configure result binding, we need to customize this query. And let me save this first once more because there is no auto save feature in, in Tableau CRM right now. So I'll just save the code. And now we will be going to uh, 
now we'll be going to customize the uh, we'll be going to set the result binding in sales one because so based on the values based on the filter uh, based on the value filter in product subcategory one we need to filter it out here so here i just write Here I'm going to write in sales one and the query will be Q is equal to sales data set. And here I need to add a filter. So I just write, I'll just customize the query slash and Q is equal to, Q is equal to filter Q by, filter Q by column. And this would be a, this would be a result binding. So I'm using as equality as equality as equality and here we need to here we need to make it equal with the uh, with the category so the the dimension here is product underscore product underscore sub underscore category product underscore sub underscore category and here also we will be going to write the the result will be getting in our product uh, the result will be getting in our product subcategory one so i just i uh, just copy this step and here i write product subcategory one dot result that's the result binding so result comma and it should be double quotes backslash backslash and the column name is product underscore sub underscore category that's all uh, let's check it out so let's check this site out now so i click on done and you can see the result binding is applied successfully so let me reset it right so as you can see this is the total sale for these two product subcategories so the result binding is connect configured successfully so this is showing the total sale for these two of uh, these two product subcategories if I select top four, my total sales will change. If I select this, this will change. Now, in order to uh, display the all over total sale, I just add one more widget. And in this widget, I'm just going to display the total sale, which is not going to bind with any of these, uh, any of these widgets. So I just uh, do a little bit customization on this, and I just say, that's sum of sales and uh, yeah that's for just for, for so as you can see if i just change top four see this one is changing so this this is this 6.4 million is the total sale for these four products subcategories and this is all over total sale which is 12.4 million so this is the way we configure result binding in a tableau crm so that's all in this video i hope you found this video interesting and don't forget to press don't forget to subscribe our youtube channel for more updates on einstein or on other various uh, or new updates about tableau crm you can also hit the press the bell icon so that you will get uh, updates about the new videos on einstein analytics or other technologies also if uh, if you have any requirement about customized training on uh, Tableau CRM or Einstein Analytics or Salesforce, you can reach out to us on www.aitech1.com or you can uh, drop an email to us on support at the rate aitech1.com or you can contact us on the given numbers. Thanks for watching. Have a nice day. Goodbye.